Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make your own sous vide machine. I visited my friend a while back ago and he's going to explain how he made his own sous vide machine. We had a lot of fun shooting this video so there will be some laughing. Enjoy! Okay, I'm here at Marcus's place and uh, I'm here to check out his project, the sous vide. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually sous vide. Or sous vide <laughs> what you see here is a sous vide circulator uh huh yeah sous vide is actually french and means uh, by or under vacuum uh -huh. so it's really about uh, uh, cooking some kind of meat um, vacuum seal in a temperature controlled water bath uh huh so, so I just made up uh, by myself a device since uh, I wanted to buy one, but uh, those who were commercial available was like starting at uh, one thousand dollars or something. Oh, okay. So what? Uh, what is the electronics? What do you have inside there? You have a Raspberry Pi. So this is a just normal Raspberry Pi and um, um, a display shield with buttons from Adafruit, mm -hmm. together with. Um, Temperature sensor with a digital one-wire interface, also from Adafruit. Uh, natively supported by Linux as a um, device file, so quite simple. Cool. And a simple PCB with a transistor switch for the 12 volts um, uh, pump mm -hmm. for circulating the water. And a cheap um, immersion heater from uh, eBay on 1500 watts. Cool. With a solid state relay turning it on and off. So cool. the software that runs on it is really super simple. It's a um, Python code with a software PD regulator that uh, turns on and off the immersion heater based on the temperature. So, how much do you think you spent on this project? So, uh, the um, most expensive part here is maybe the Raspberry Pi and this uh, water tank. Mm -hmm. So, together maybe uh, like $100 instead of $1,000. Wow, that's pretty good. Money saved. Yay! <laughs> That's a really good chicken.